Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm alright. Lockdown haircut? <laughs> I've been cutting it myself. <laughs> it was just wild because I, I, I went at it like that and it made it, so I've just uh, put some crack in it just to uh, pin it down. So, so yes is the short answer. <laughs> but it's not finished yet, it's a work in progress. <laughs> good, that's great. I'm going to have it's another go at it. It's a project, yeah. I, I just bought, well, they're, they're actually out of stock, but I just tried to buy one of these uh, do-it-yourself head shaver kits. Oh, yeah. You know, um, from Amazon. So, I, well, I actually bought it, but they don't have any in stock, so it's pending. <laughs> so does that mean a full, you're going to go down to well, that, grade all over? It's going to go down to, I think the longest setting is uh, four and a half centimetres. Wow. So I'll probably start there. <laughs> hey Richard, how are you doing? Just get hey, your wife what was that? Just get your wife to cut it like she cut mine. <laughs> it's all gone. That looks like a shave, that. Near enough. Number. Uh, that's probably what I'm looking at, really. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? The convict look. Yeah. <laughs> it's me? Or COVID look. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the convict look. <laughs> How, how are you doing, Richard? I thought you weren't on this call. I thought you, you said you were out, or did I get it mixed, mixed up? It was last week. Oh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it. I've lost my mind now. Is that really how fast that's gone? I'm sure you said yeah. Tuesday. I won't be there Thursday. <laughs> yeah, how weeks elapsed. Was that, yeah. was that Tuesday last week? I, I'm just losing track of the days and everything. Yeah, me too. It's all blurring into one. Yeah. Hey, Richard, how are you doing? on mute. On mute. I'll unmute you. Speak. You can speak now. Oh, hello. Give me uh, a speech. <laughs> I'm used to being muted. It's pretty normal. That. <laughs> Is that by the missus? Yeah. <laughs> missus. <laughs> the missus. <sighs> or other half or Paul yeah. and Jane, whatever. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. <laughs> See ya. Oh, don't go. <laughs> <laughs> or mister. <laughs> what would you prefer, Bill? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> something a bit more 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> right that then. Bit, sorry. <laughs> no, no, I was going to say, how is Dave? Is he all right? He's fine, thanks. Yeah, yeah. He's upstairs meditating while I do kicky punchy. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, Jane's upstairs uh, yogaring. Oh, Mrs. <laughs> the Mrs. You know, her upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All those other trite expressions. Mm. Right, shall we get started then? <laughs> yeah, do a bit of Wing Chun. So it's a bit hard. Nice <laughs> chatting though. Yeah. Okay, let's do a little warm up, feet together. And just twisting. They're indoors, that's another one, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Walking your feet out, down to your left. And right, and middle, and walking your feet out. It's all this talk yeah. of having cleaners and nannies. What was that? It's all this talk of having cleaners and nannies that are allowed in your house now. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah. We're allowed to have a cleaner now. Yeah, you're allowed to have your nanny and your cleaner visit now but not your parents or family members. <laughs> oh. That's just depressing, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Did you see the status with all the contradictions from Boris that are summarised? Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lunging to the side, and then on to your toe. 
And then the other side. Oh, um, um, I don't know if you've seen the post, but we yeah we've uh, we decided pretty much on Tuesday we were going to do the uh, Chum Q challenge. Is everybody up for that? Yeah. Yep. So um, file section of the Facebook group. Print out a Chum Q challenge sheet. Stick it on your fridge. We're starting on Monday. So if you can make it, hope to see you there, twelve thirty. Are you still working, Rich? I am, yeah, sadly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Retirement's not anytime soon. Yeah. Okay, left foot forward, right arm back. Other way. This is feeling stranger and stranger as time goes on. <laughs> Uh, I thought I would sort of get into it, but uh, I'm still in here in my kitchen. <laughs> front room, front room kung fu. It's very odd. I had a really, really long dream last night about chiso. Oh, oh wow. it's going to be weird going back to chiso, isn't it? I'm going to yeah. looking forward to that day. Sorry, I've got some internet issues. I'm back now. Oh, did wonder what happened there. Your screen went black. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All, all the technology in the house at the minute is just going kaput. All that new 5G. <laughs> no, it's called, it's called free kids that like to hammer everything. <laughs> free kids smashing everything up. So opposite directions. And change. Why is it that everyone with kids says don't have kids? <laughs> yeah. Change direction. Well, not everyone, obviously. Mm. Shoulders backwards. There's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm only keeping them till I can sell them. <laughs> they might be worth something, Ian. Other way. Drugs. Looking left and right. Side to side. It's in office. Forward and backwards. Stand. Circle. Would you be there? Both ways. People. No, the light. Circling your feet. Charge your feet up. Just one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna be in every time now. I'm not even going to stagger it. Logging <laughs> yeah. a dead horse to that one. Is that a look of disapproval, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> no, just clapping. Clapping. Clapping the favourite jokes. Wing Chun jokes. Point here all week. Here all week, try the veal. Pull back. Turn out. Turn in. Circle. And pull back. And up front. And the other side. Hey Mark. Hi. Circling. Both ways. Both way, uh, pointing. And pull back. Turn out. Turn in. Circle. And pull back. And up front, hugging your knees. One at a time. Feet together, circling your knees. Both ways. And bend and skip back. Hugging your knees. And touching your toes. Just hang and get a stretch on the back of your legs. And then circling your hips. Both ways. And then shake off. Okay, so uh, if you've just joined us, um, 
I've just mentioned the, the new challenge is starting on Monday. So that's the Chunk Q challenge. If you don't know Chunk Q, um, I've done a few videos to help. Um, file section of this group, print out a Chunk Q challenge, stick it on your fridge, and then we're going to do 30 days back to back of uh, Chunk Q. If you don't know the form, there's a few videos in the, in the Facebook group that you can use, um, broken down section by section, just to help you learn. Um, but we can cover some of Chum Q tonight as well. Uh, who's not familiar with Chum Q, Richard? Me. Hey. Ian? Well, I so so. So so, yeah. I think everybody else uh, knows at least the pattern. Yeah. So we could uh, we could do a bit of Chum Q tonight. What are your thoughts? Do we want to do first form as well, or can we? Shall we just crack on and, and get into Chum Q? I mean, we've covered quite a lot of first form, and we've been doing the challenge. I don't know if everybody's been doing it, but uh, there's a ton of videos on first form as well in, in the uh, Facebook group now. So, what do people think? Any thoughts? Any anyone? How about hands up for first form? Yeah, I'll do it. Not, not long on it, but we could do it. Yeah. yeah. Hands up yeah. for second form. Second form, Paul, hands up for not sure. <laughs> hands up for sitting on the fence. <laughs> if you're sitting on the fence, keep your hands down. <laughs> All right, well, we can, we can whiz through first form anyway, and then we'll, we'll just crack on with second form. I think that might be a good focus for the class. <laughs> you got a thumbs up there. How do you do that? If you go down to reactions uh, at the bottom right, and then it has... Oh, yeah two emojis and you might be able to enable more as the um, host as well <laughs> I only seem to have two clapping and thumbs up yeah that's exciting well spotted <laughs> that's, what, that's what all the fuss was about in the Simlin Tower as well by the way look oh wow look at that Ooh. did you did you build that while doing your first form yeah yeah I'm that, I'm that multi-talented you see <laughs> yeah. that's amazing that's brilliant Right, we're going to do some punches. Hope you're ready. So, basic stance, opening up, single punches, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, nice and light. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. It's easy, this five, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, nice and light. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Singles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Arms, singles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Threes, nice and light. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Singles again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Views underneath. So coming underneath this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Threes, nice and light. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, just relax, grab a drink, and uh, we'll do a little bit of first form next. And we'll go on to chum cube. Um, so, Richard and Ian, how much chum cube have you done? Have you done any of it? We did a bit one week, didn't we, or a couple of weeks? Yeah, I mean, only what we've done on this online thing. Right. Very little. Okay, well, we'll stick to the first section then, and we'll just have a drill of that, and then just follow along. Most of mine's back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. You've done yeah. a bit, though, Ian, haven't you? I remember we, doing, we did do a bit. Yeah, we've done a bit. It's just memory, that's all. Yeah, cool. Well, we'll just stick to first section. And then you've got something to um, to drill then if you're joining the, the challenge. Then yeah. just do that bit that you know. And then slowly you'll pick it up if you add a little bit each time. Okay, so we'll start off with a little bit of uh, first form. So centre line check, left hand on top. Left fist to centre, punch, lock out, stretch your wrist. Right fist to centre, punch, lock out, stretch your wrist. So left hand, left hand first. Just slowly pushing forward into your tensile position. Concentrate on the arm that's moving, relax as much as possible. So we won't go as slow as we have been doing. <laughs> Is anybody there? I know Ian, Ian you were there on the... Who, who did the uh, Suling Tower Challenge up to 25 and a half minutes? Me. Ian, you were on it, weren't you? Was anybody, did anybody else do it? Yeah, me, I did it. Who's that? that Mark, Mark, you did it, yeah. It was a bit of a killer, wasn't it? It was, but on the last day, I didn't feel as bad as the day before. I felt it felt okay, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I had, I had space where I could do it really simply. Other days, I, I needed to take a break. Yeah. Yeah, I had a similar thing. That I had a stinking hangover, I think, on the, the third day before we finished. That was my hardest. It showed. <laughs> I don't look back on the video. I 
I want you to take I want you to take a screenshot of the start of every one of your videos, print it out on an A3 paper and stick it on my uh, neighbor's windows just to scare the hell out of them. <laughs> Is that bad? Yeah, it's just funny when you first when it freezes, it's funny. <laughs> so first box out as soon as you can, get your elbow in. Behind your wrist. Pushing forward, one fist distance, that's from your elbow to your chest. Two fist distances, that should give you your box out position. Round into Wu Sao. That's box out number one. So once your guard hand position's back, just drop it into second box out. Pushing forwards, get your elbow in as soon as you can. Box on number two. And then dropping into box on number Once you're back to guard hand position, inside pack, back to center, straight palm, block out, wrist stretch. And pull back. So same on the other side. Concentrate on that arm that's moving. Keep it as relaxed as you can. So dropping into first box out. One fist, two fist distances from the elbow to the chest, rotate around into Wu Sao. It's first box out. Dropping into second box out. And drop it into the third and final box out. Inside back, centre, straight palm, blocking out, wrist stretch. Second section, left hand first, energy on the end, relax in between. Bringing your hands up, round the back, double palm behind, round the front. Left hand on top, back sow, right hand on top, jum, tan, lap or jut, you, bend, all the way down and all the way up. Third section, left hand again first, outside pack, side palm, lock out, wrist stretch. Outside pack, side palm, lock out, wrist stretch. Tan, garn, scooping tan, yun sao, 
Log farm, lock and lift. Log tan, gun, scooping tan, gun. Log farm, lock and lift. Bong, tan, farm. Bong, tan, farm. Guns. Just to finish. Good, okay. So we're going to have a little break at eight um, uh, for our uh, showing our respects to the NHS. Mm -hmm. Got five minutes till that time. So if you have to nip out, then just do. Um, but we can start on our second form, just do a couple of minutes, just to get things moving. So we'll just do that very first section. So same as uh, same opening as your first form, basically. Main difference is our feet are pointing directly forwards. We're not in our basic stance anymore. So this is your fighting stance. So you're going to be moving, stepping, turning. So we're checking our center again. Left fist to center. Punch, wrist stretch, right fist to center, punch, wrist stretch. Okay, so both hands into center, and then we're doing a double jeng sao. So this is from the side, this is how it looks like. And you're gonna use explosive energy on the end. So energy on the end. And then just turn to your left, uh, left hand on top. To your right, and then back to your left again. And we'll just use that as a little bit of a, an entry, entry level drill uh, to learn jump cue. So that's just your first little bit. So I'll run through that again, and then we'll have a little break. So, what? Rich, your hand should be a blade rather than the palm on the land. Yes, you see, so striking with this portion of your, your wrist. So from the side, this is how it looks. You bring your hands in, you're exploding energy. So from the front, this is how, what you're striking with is this, this blade edge of your hand. Yep. Okay, so we've got, let's go through it together again. So it's about opening your stance, squaring up your feet, left hand on top, left fist to center, punch, locking out, wrist stretch. Right fist to center, punch, locking out, wrist stretch. Bring both hands into the center, elbows tight together, exploding energy on the end, striking with the blade edge of your hand. And then you turn into your left, left hand on top of your right, all the way around 180 degrees, and all the way around again. So these are turning double pie jars. Okay, and then we we'll go back to the start. We've got hands, knees, toes, squaring up your feet, so feet are parallel, pointing forwards, center line check, left fist, punch, right fist, punch, both hands into the middle, double jeng sao, explosive energy at the end, turn to your left, left hand on top, to your right, to your left. Okay, we'll just have a little play with that. We've still got a couple of minutes before eight, so um, just have a little play with that in your own time. So um, we're coming up to eight now, so we'll leave it there and we'll come back uh, in a couple of few minutes and uh, we'll follow on where we've left off. Okay. Thank you. See you in a bit. See you in a minute.
Will do. Look what I've got, Bill. Clap, ah. clap. Look at my. I've got. I've got the clapping emoji. Oh yes. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even have to go out if uh, if you're doing that. No, I could just use my clapping emoji and and stay in. <laughs> it won't make any difference to the pay freeze. No. <laughs> no, exactly. Whole thing's bullshit. That's the it? point, isn't it? It just it does feel a little bit empty. <laughs> yeah. Going out and clapping while uh, we're screwing them all over. Yeah. The government is anyway. Yeah. Well, it's, it, that's the opening gambit rather than the final situation. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Keep clapping anyway, I reckon. Yeah. Well, they had fireworks out just now. We went out and had fireworks going off. Yeah, we had. We get different noises every time. We had some kind of like um, football horns. Do you know oh, like? did you? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot where you were. <laughs> yeah. Ah, strange times, isn't it? It makes a change for gunshots and terror in Bradford, to be fair. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, some of the terrors calmed down here in uh, in Armley as well. So. All of it, though, sadly. There aren't, any, there aren't any terrorists in Bradford. It's all been Lee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shall we get back to it? We're missing a couple of people, but we can crack on. Oops. So, uh, yeah, so what we're doing is a uh, very start of chum cue. So we're doing the bow, hands, knees, toes, heels, basically the same as first form opening, but your feet are parallel, you're not turning your toes in. Uh, center line check is the same, left fist to center, punch, wrist stretch, that's all the same as your first form. So if you know that, you, you, know, you know a little bit of second form already. Then we've got hands to center, fingers pointing forwards, double jeng sao. So all of this should be done with explosive energy on the end, even these uh, turning double land sao positions. So we're just gonna drill that. So just in your own time really. Drilling that little opening sequence of your chunk cue. So with the turns as well, after you've done the double jeng sao, try and snap that into position as fast as you can. And then from one side to the other, try and do that all in one motion. So everything sets off together, everything lands together and it should be fast. So your turns should be fast and stable. Just have a little drill of that in your own time. We'll just have a quick look at everybody. Put you on the spot. Hey Mark, all clear on the Western Front? Yeah. Right. We start, we're just doing through, going through the drill again? Yeah, that same thing again, yeah. So, um, just looking at your starting there, Richard. Um, I'm a starting. Uh, sorry, Richard, uh, Richard A. Oh. <laughs> Richard A. So just in terms of the, the Jeng Sao, try and explode this at the end. So what we've got is we're generating power from, from this. So we're, we're snapping the wrist back and we're extending the elbow forward. So we're kind of loading our position here with the fingers pointing forwards and then we're striking with the blade edge of the hand. We're generating power from, from this wrist motion, motion and from the elbow extension and obviously explosive energy, being relaxed, and then exploding energy at the end. So are the, are the hands, when the strike, are the, are the square or the, like that? Uh, think, think of it as um, 
yeah, square, parallel. All right, yeah, it's just, just when I'm doing it, I find myself naturally just going out a little bit like that. So yeah, okay, that's fine. Thank you. Too hot now. Too cold before. Oh. That's it, sound effects optional. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that. Often helps to go. Yeah, well, that's the energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the energy, yeah. So, so similar to the punch, uh, it should be relaxed and then exploding on the end. Same thing with the Jeng Sao, exploding energy at the last inch of the movement. So it looks a little bit like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it that's brilliant. Oh, well done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's got a, that. Re, that's not a reaction clapping. That's actually the Jeng Sao. Well <laughs> you can finish yourself off in that moves as well, though. <laughs> what we could do is go like this oof, and then rea react to the icon <laughs> so if I, if I place myself here oh no here and go oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway anyway we digress this is a serious class no, you're doing it. <laughs> uh. yeah it's him not for anyone in actual fact. Not sure if anyone. Ah, I've not seen that for a long, long time. I, I had um, I had one of those. I don't think I had that one. That's a, there's a blue one as well that I had. I think he did he did three or four, didn't he? He did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I found it in um, Oxfam books. Oh, did you? That's a good find. That. Yeah, definitely. I saw it in the window, and it, oh, look, I'm having that. <laughs> those items now, aren't they? I think. Yeah. With that pad as well that I was telling you about, I'll bring you when class do, I'll bring you that in so you can leave that for people as well. Oh, uh, um, yes, that's a good book that I've got a copy of that. Leave that in the classroom because I've read it. So, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be snapped up. Yeah. So is everybody cool with this first little uh, part of the form? Yeah. yeah. So, shall we move on? Okay, so we'll add to this now. So, so we'll start from the beginning each time and then we can add to it. So center line check, left fist to center, punch on wrist stretch, right fist to center, punch on wrist stretch. Both hands into center, double jeng sao, turning to your left, left hand on top, right, left. Okay, so that leaves us here. We're gonna do double bu. So palms down, double tan, palms up. We're dropping the left hand below the right and lifting up into top sow. And then dropping the other one and then dropping the other one. Okay, so we'll go back to land sow just so we can drill that little bit. So left hand on top, view, tan, left hand drops, right hand on top, Tox out, one, right hand drops, left hand on top, two, and three. Okay, and then go back to land. So we've basically got view, tan, left lifting hand, that's tox out, right lifting hand, left lifting hand, and then back to land. So we've got view, tan, tox out one, tox out two, and tox out three, and then back to land. So it's view, tan, one, two, Three, back to land. View, tan, one, two, three, back to land. Just in your own time, just really in that little section. Timmy, is that when we used to drill where we used to step back? Is that where you, you uh, break the elbow? Yes, that's that's correct, yeah. So that's toxal. Toxal just means lifting, lifting hand. Yeah, okay. So yes, you're you're stepping back and you're hyperextending somebody's somebody's reaching or punch. Right, okay, thank you. So Richard A, Richard A, um, 
just a little pointer on that toxal. I'll just pin my video so you can see. So in reality, when we use this, we're, we're going to have this hand is going to be parallel, what well, like you're doing. In the form, we're going to have the fingers pointing in the direction of your forearm to show oh, okay. show the direction of the attack. That's it. Perfect. Yeah. And make sure the toxal is lifting. So that's hence why you've got a slight drop before because it needs to lift up to do a toxal. So you're lifting with a tock. Just try and avoid going forward with it. So it's definitely going up. That's it. Spot on. Can I ask about angle on the toxal? Yeah. How, how much of it is that? As opposed to that. Oh, let me See, just pin, let me just pin your video. Say that again, Bill. So it could is it that or is it that? Because on the on dummy form we do it a bit more like that, don't we? But in this, so how much angles on the on the wrist do you reckon? Oh, um, yeah. So what you're saying is in the in the dummy form, it's yeah. more. Uh, it's more like this. Yeah. yeah, well that might be because they are you've got short arms and they're pointing the you know they're quite short, aren't they? Yeah. So that's gonna affect your hand position. Okay. So toxal just means lifting hand. So as long as you're lifting this upwards, um it's gonna really depend on the position of your attack the attacking arm coming in. Yeah. Um so it's gonna depend on range, isn't it? I mean you could use a toxal uh to, to move someone backwards as well. Uh, potentially and then it's traveling forward slightly so but on this we definitely want it to be going up so yeah. in terms of that in terms of the hand position I'll just try and keep it neutral and relaxed because it's going to depend on on the dummy we end up doing this because well the, the arms are very strong but in reality we might have a flatter hand yeah so okay. I wouldn't worry yeah I'll just keep your hand flat and relaxed uh, just make sure this is coming up Great. Thanks for that. Cheers. So, uh, same thing, uh, Ian, as I was saying to uh, Richard. Um, let me just do uh, the direction of your fingertips uh, pointing down the forearm. So in, in reality, using it, yes, your hand will be like you're doing. But in the form, we're showing the direction of the attack by having our fingers parallel to our forearm. So when we're doing these three, just have your fingers pointing forwards. Are they, are they, are they, are they, is, it, is there a gap between the fingers or are they together? Yes, but we don't want them. We don't want them splayed like that, and we don't want them tight together. We just want a relaxed hand, really. Any more than a, just a relaxed hand is going to mean you're using too much tension. So I just okay. have a, just have a little tiny splay between your fingers. Okay. Okay, so we'll move on to the next piece. And we'll start from the top again. Um, we'll have the next bit. So it's hands, knees, toes, heels. Center line check. Left fist to center, punch, lock out, wrist stretch. Right fist to center, punch, lock out, wrist stretch. Both hands into the middle. Double jenks out. Turn to your left, left on top. To your right, to your left. Then we have view. We had tan, we had left toxal, right toxal, left toxal. From there, we've got a palm strike. Palm, and on the third palm, we're just drawing the left hand back. 
and we'll just go from there. So we'll go from uh, double lan. So again, we're going to go view, tan, toxal, 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 palm, 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 and draw the left hand back on the last palm. Then go back to your double lan. So we've got view, tan, so left toxal, right toxal, left toxal, back palm first, palm, palm, and then go back. And just do that in a drill so you get comfortable with those basic moves. And go back to the land. Got view, tan, toxal, three toxals, three palm strikes, drawing the left hand back on the end. So on those palms, Richard, just make sure you're drawing the back palm back. So if, if uh, so this is my view, my tan, my tox, oh, on the view, from a view to a tan, all you're doing is rotating your wrists effectively. Okay. So there's my view, there's my tan. So the arm position doesn't really move. So I've got one, two, three, and then as I do my palm strike, the backhand comes back here. Palm, palm. So think of your backhand just as much as your front hand for the palms. So you might have to drop that front hand a little bit more to get the fingers around you. Um, make sure you're not going around the side with these palm strikes. I was going around the side. Yeah, so make sure they're going down center line, same as your punches. So you might have to exaggerate that, that front hand drop. Otherwise, what you get is this. Yeah. We don't want that because then you're not yeah. coming down center line each time. Yeah. Ian, just make sure your toxals are going up. They look like they were going forward. You were doing that. So this is the reason for dropping the hand first and then lifting it, dropping it, lifting it. So just exaggerate that lift because that's what's going to do the damage. Is if something's coming in, yeah, you're you're basically coming up into the elbow, and and that's what's gonna that's the damage that's going to happen. So if you're going forward, it's not going to be as powerful. Okay. So that palm strike, Mark, you probably knew that one. <laughs> the look on yeah, your... I've just swapped sides. I'm just. All oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I just, I just uh, missed. Yeah. Yeah. Start again. That's better yet. Cool. So we'll move on again. So from the top. So we've got hands, knees, toes, heels, relax your feet, left hand on top, left fist, right fist. Hands into the centre, energy on the end, left hand on top. Views, hands, left toxal, right toxal, left toxal, palm, 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 drawing back. And then we're going to go all the way through into the land south position with the turn. Fingers on the wrist, turning bomb and guard. Back to land. Fingers on the wrist, look, turning bomb and guard. Back to land. Fingers on the wrist, look, turning bomb and guard. And back to land. So that's just three of those at the end. So we'll go through that again from our turning double land south. So we have views, tans, toxal, one, two, three, palms, one, two, three, through into lansau with a turn. Fingers on the wrist, turning bong and guard. Back to lan, fingers, look, bong and guard, and then a third one of these. Okay, so we'll do, I'll do one more of those with you, and then have a drill of it on your own. So just from turning 
double pie John, left hand on top, we've got Bu, Tam, Toxel, 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 Palm, 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 Lance out with a turn, fingers, front and guard, back to land, fingers, front and guard, back to land, fingers, and a third, and we'll just stop there. So just have a run through. Um, so uh, for your double pie jams, and then after that, and that, and then your fingers, and then bone guard. Yeah. So energy on both. Yeah. Well. Energy on both. Yeah. So we're energy here and here. And how is best to get that energy to get that without? Um, well. Being out of control or going off balance, that sort of thing. How I don't know if I'm describing it properly, but how do you maximize the energy? I guess, um, well, relaxation, yeah, um, I'd say, and just drilling. I mean, you, it takes a while to kind of get that relaxation and use and get that snappiness on the end, yeah. and it and, and that sort of relaxed fluidity and that and that naturally relaxed position comes just through drilling this form, really, and drilling the positions. Yeah. So when you're doing, um, where are we? So we've done our last palm through into our land. This, just this move here, uh, okay, so. will help you get everything snapping into position because the tendency is, because this is quite a, a big move really, tendency is to overcook your land and have it bounce or something like that. that. Yeah. Or you get your hand to land too early before your hips. Yeah. Or even just this little little part. You could just drill this. There's my palm. Boom. So you can visualization helps. You can visualize trying to generate as much power as you can on this elbow as you're coming in. So right. I'm not just hitting with the elbow. I'm also hitting with my hips. You're right. Because, but I'm generating power by being relaxed. If I was tense all the way through that, yeah, just stop. It'd be, yeah, it would slow it down and inhibit the movement. So I need to be relaxed, but also I need to apply energy. Mm -hmm. So that just comes through drilling this, really. Yeah, cool. I'm fine with energy going forwards, but yeah. the side and yeah, and back, I guess. Um, like, yeah, that I mean, there's 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 when there's less movement in something. Uh, mm. So on this, so I'm I'm going from a guard to here, so I'm yeah. effectively only moving my hand that much. So I'm not going to generate a huge amount of power, really. No. Um, but once you become aware of that, that that's part of what you're drilling, then obviously that will that will become a little bit snappier as time goes on. Yeah. But I mean, initially, even just a little bits like the Jeng Sao, yeah, you'll start out, and you know, it's like anything you start as a, a, went from from the beginning, you'll mm. have too much tension on, so you can't get that snap. Yeah. Because you you can't snap the energy on if it's already on. Mm -hmm. So it'll be clunky and it'll feel not very powerful. But as you get more used to it and more, you'll relax and use less energy, you know, like with anything. So, yeah, from the bong and guard, snapping that back uh, doesn't feel very powerful. It isn't, but you know, mm. it, all these little tweaks are going to help you in different ways. I guess it's just maximizing those movements to the max, isn't it? So it's just getting as much as I possibly can with minimal effort, but. Is yeah, I mean, exactly. But think about um, first form and uh, second section where you're effectively switching off energy. Yeah. So you're generating power because it's relaxed. Yeah. So the power comes only because we can switch it on at the very end. So we've got that, that speed and we've got that explosive energy at the end. But if when you learn in second section, you, you, you're like, oh, how do I switch that off? Because it's always on. Yeah, and it's yeah. only by drilling it and, and paying attention to you know, how much tension you've got lingering in your arms. Mm. And particularly in between, section two is a really good one to do, first, first form, second section, and just walk through, walk through that on your own and uh, just notice how much tension you've got after you've applied that energy for the first time because mm. it, it'll naturally be a little bit more than it was before. So if we've spent half an hour doing first section, let's say, and we've got a nice relaxed soft position when we start introducing energy into that that's going to naturally 
uh, step up the tension in our arm, you know, that we would that, that we've got just got rid of, you know, if you like, from first first section. So then it's like, oh, we need to now switch that off again after having switched it on. Mm. And that's that's the skill you're learning in that section. Brilliant. Thank you. But yeah, it runs through Chum Q as well, because obviously Chum Q, energy, 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 and you're switching it on. But to mm. generate that power, you need to have to you need to be able to switch it off again and relax. Thank you. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's because uh, at least practice that. Well, chum Q anyway. Because um, yeah, I practice first for most days. So I guess it's just um, getting that bit and getting used to that. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, there's not there's not a huge amount of power in that, but this could be uh, a lap. So mm. that movement from there to there could be, you know, could translate to you lapping someone into something, you know. And, and it's knowing when to stop bringing that back, you know, whereas if you're over keen to pull somebody, you'll pull out of your position. Balancing. They would never have a position like that in Chum Q. So Chum Q kind of gives you the boundaries of, of those things that you might do in Chi Sal that would get you into trouble. Yeah. No, yeah. Thank you. So Richard, um, that lance out, think of that as a 90 degree angle from the, the elbow. So just, yeah, crimp that in a little bit. So, so from there, you've got your fingers on your wrist and then you're turning with your bong and guard. That's it. And then back to your lan again. So breathe, oh, now go back to the lan and pull that hand back. Yeah, And look at your lance out. So your lance out is a bit far out. Yeah, just think of that as a square shape. So from here to there to here, is think of that as a square. So when you go from your land to your bong, your land is kind of this 90 degree angle and your bong is obviously a much bigger angle. So you're going from land here at 90 to bong reaching out. That's it, and you should have a guard on there. That's it, and then go back to your land again. That's it. And a guard. Yeah, and then pull that backhand back. That's it, good. Ian, make sure you're turning on your heels. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you shifting your weight over your toes. Something to drill. It's these difficult to where they obviously when you turn your weights here, yeah, and then obviously you've shifted out. It's just, yeah, okay, I'll get it. Don't worry, thank you. So, Mark, on your palms, make sure your backhand comes back to a, a palm uh, face, right. fingers facing up. Yeah, your palm is a little bit like a view. Oh, okay. All right. okay. So, remember you've got three palms here. One, yep. two, three. So, get, make sure the backhand's nice and neat and you've got your yeah. fingers facing upwards. That's better. Okay, so we'll move on to the next bit. So what we'll find, you might find you're losing little bits as we go on if you're going faster than you can remember, but um, use the videos that I've posted to help you and just pick, pick a certain amount that you can cope with you know, for, the, for the challenge if you're doing the challenge. And then you'll, then you'll have something to work with every day. Okay, so we'll go on to the next part from the top. So our left hand on top. Left fist, right fist, left hands, uh, hands in the center, double jeng, sao, turn to your left, left hand on top, to your right, to your left, view, tan, left tok sao, right tok sao, left tok sao, palm, 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 
and then through into Lansau. Fingers on your wrist, look, turn in bomb and guard. And back to Lan. Fingers, look, turn in bomb and guard. Back to Lan. Fingers, look, bomb and guard. And back to Lansau. And then on this last one, we're going to do a fist. So placing a fist instead of the fingers, punching with the left, drawing the right back. You're squaring up through Lansau. Look for the Faxau. Back to center, contact, side palm. Lock out, wrist stretch. So there's quite a lot in that. So we'll go back from our Lansau. So <clears throat> we'll do our, we'll go from our Lansau contact, turning bong and guard, that's number one. Back to Lan, turning bong and guard, that's number two. And then last one, and then Placing the fist now, so we're punching with the left, drawing back the right hand. We square up our feet, so our toes are pointing forwards. Look before our facts out. Back to center, contact, side palm. Locking out, stretching. Um, so we'll go back to Lantau. So we've got Lantau, finger, turning bottom guard. Three of these. And then a fist, punch, squaring up into Faxau, back to the center, side palm. And again, back to Lan. So we've got fingers, look, on and guard, number two, number three, punch, drawing back the right hand, through Lan, into Faxau, back to center, Contact, side palm. Okay, we'll go through that once more and then just have a drill of it on your own. So we've got glance out, fingertips, look, turn them on the guard, back to land. And the last one, we do a fist, punch, back out, jump, palm. Okie dokie. So just have a run through that from your lance out facing to your right, fingers turning on the guards. Pull, uh, yeah, that's it Richard, pull that hand back. Bong and guard. Bong and guard. And then on the last one, it's a fist, punch and pull your right back, square up your feet, look before into your faxau, back to center, contact, side palm with your left. And then a wrist stretch, good. Yeah, keep your feet pointing forwards there, Ian. That's good, yeah, you got that. That's it, Mark, good. So um, if you're lost on any of this, there are, there are videos in the Facebook group which can help you with it. And I'll post this again, as, of course, as well. Um, so you can use this video if you're just learning this. So we'll finish off with, um, with just running up to where we've got to all together. And then we'll do some punches and we'll round it off. Cool. Okie dokie. Um, Okay, so feet together. So it's hands, knees, give it out on the heels, in on the toes. Relax your stance, so feet pointing forwards. Center line check, left fist. Right fist. Both hands into center, fingers pointing forwards. Energy on the end, and then relax after, so that's double Jeng Sao. 
So then to your left, left hand on top, to your right, to your left, fuse, hands, left socks out, lifting hand, one, two, three, palms, one, two, three. From there, through into lance out, fingers on the wrist, look for the attack, turning bomb and guard, back to lan, fingers, look, turning bomb and guard, back to lan. Fingers, look, on guard, land again, fist this time, punch and pull back. Square up through to land sow, into fax sow. Back to jut sow, contact, side palm, and then lock it out, and then wrist stretch. And then, um, so that's basically the first half of the first section. So the, the next half of that section is the exact same thing, but you're doing the opposite side of it. So you'd start by turning to your right. Um, so, but if, if you've not done that, I mean, just learn, just drill what you've, what we've done today. If you've not done much of uh, chum Q so that you've, you've got something to, uh, to work on. Are there any questions? Shall we finish up with some punches? Yes. Let's do some punches to finish and then we'll call it a day. Okay. So punching positions, single punches, one to each count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, nice and relaxed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Palms, singles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Views underneath, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Singles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, close your stance and we'll finish there. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank Thank you. You. Good to see everybody. Cheers, Tim. Thank you. Cheers, thanks a lot. Yeah. Welcome. I'll see you next time. And have a good, uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys. Take care, guys. Have a good one. Have a good now. See you. Take care. See you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Yeah. Yes.